Welcome guys, Mark with Kaf here. Uh, yesterday I published a video, uh, by the time I record this, it's yesterday. I don't know when this will go online, but I record a video that's 4 tips to make ZBrush work for you. And in it, in the intro, I do this uh, kind of a time lapse from my, rec from my stream with the gun. Uh, and I got a question that says, can you explain how are you creating the trigger in the intro part? So, um, without further ado, we know what time it is. And this time, I have a special guest that will announce the intro. Damn it. Let's get this over with. Alright guys, we're in ZBrush. And um, I'm just gonna take this one and delete it. And we're gonna do it all over again. Okay? So... How I do it is I start with a plane, and where's the plane? Oh, uh, let's rotate it the way we want it. There we go, and let's get it back to position. So once I start with a plane, I subdivide it any uh, like a couple of times. A million polygons is fine, and if you don't want to get those round edges. Here at the end, if you want to use them, just turn off your smooth. All right, and I'm gonna delete lower, uh, delete, yeah, delete lower. And I'm just basically going to let's get to matcap gray. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I am basically going to draw my uh, my trigger with my masking pen and a lazy mouse while being in transparency. And I use transparency with ghost because that allows me to under cut, to cut under other subtools. If I don't have ghost, it will stop where there is a subtool on its way. All right, so let's turn back ghost and let's uh, draw it. Once I draw its contours, I am going to lasso it. There we go, now I have this full piece. And now I just, with my masking pen, creating um, straight edges. I can just go here, create this, and then cut. And this will give me much clearer edges like this. Uh, and let's do, oops, let's clear this like that, perfect, right, you can always cool, once I'm done, I am simply going to press Control W to get it in a group, if I turn on the line you will see there is a Different groups. Sometimes your brush gives much, uh, much different colors. Sometimes they're the same almost. But yeah, so we have this. I'm going to isolate it, and I'm going to delete hidden. And either I can either zero mesh it right now, or what I can do is I can mask it, invert uh, mask by features, tap to invert the selection. And since I have only one feature, my border, it will mask it, and I'm gonna. Polish it by features with an open dot. Now it will become a little bit more wonky, but it will help uh, zero mesh a lot. So I'm gonna uh, clear the mask, go to zero mesher, which for me is here, and I'm gonna, whoop, I press zero mesh, and I'm gonna go to polygon count of five is okay. I'm just gonna drop the adaptive size all the way to zero, and we go on zero mesh it. And once we do this, it will take like Five seconds or something. Once we do this, we're gonna start zero meshing it by half. So if I go and see it's still insane, we can work on this. So I can just start zero meshing by half until I see uh, until I see the version of it that I like. That's that's fine. 
right? So let's bring the whole gun into the picture. Let's turn off symmetry and let's uh, let's make it smaller, rotate it, bring it down a bit. All right, I like this. We can even make it a little bit tilted. There we go. So now, if you press C, as you can see, there is a little bit of a. It's on the edge, but we can fix that later. The cool thing about this is that now we can do all the box modeling stuff with the modeler brush uh, that we want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Q mesh all polygons like this, something like that, and then Q, uh, mirror weld it into the X. And then if I want to. I can just come here. Let's get rid of this for now. So insert multiple edge loop. There you go. Or I can mask those and I can Q mesh either single polygon or poly uh, or um, polygroup island and it will Q mesh only the white. I can hold shift, increase those. All right. It's way way. Let's get out of uh, perspective. It's way way too um, thick. So let's bring it in some like this. It's still thick. Let's uh, get it like that. And now what we can do is we can go and do this. We can <clears throat> insert multiple wedge loop and we can go with specified resolution of one, but with interact interactive uh, elevation. What this will do is this will allow us to create this kind of a kind of bevel feeling that's great group my normals increase pg that seems like a like a nice thing All right and now we can come here get those polygons yeah and q match those holding shift Perfect. Mirror weld. Okay, let's do it again. This time, once we mirror weld it, we have this polygroup created, symmetrical. So we're gonna go to polygroup all. We're gonna just adjust it. Right? That's okay for me. I still, I don't know why I can't find the right position on it. There we go. This is it. All right, so now we have this. As you can see, it smooths, it creates this little bow here, and it has uh, kind of the front part is easier than the back. This is not the greatest here, but let's fix those as well. So let's get only those. Perfect. All right, so now we have this. Uh, you can call it done if you want. You can create your own. Uh, you can, for example, insert a cylinder, and I have a twelve-sided cylinder just because it's easier to work with. It has fewer sides. I'm gonna bring it, and I'm gonna make it very, very small this copy it alongside the places I want it to be cool let's center it and let's scale it up there we go live booleans set up a group said so this is subtractive 
uh, crude granulas and crisp PG the cylinders. So the cut is clean. And I'll have this. Uh, and the cool thing about booleans is, and why I prefer booleans is that I can now come here. Let's come here, select this this cylinder, and then just just this hole. I may want to create this one here bigger. This move it up. I can do basically what I want with booleans. Booleans are great. Like this, I don't need. There we go. And now once we are all ready, uh, select visibility only on the boolean uh, on the boolean group. And this is by basically isolating any object inside the boolean group and pressing the I the eyeball button on the boolean. You have it. Uh, press subdivision into your boolean menu and before you boolean it make sure you have the right um, subdivision information like a 104 and maybe decreasing to be a 3 let's see oh that's for the okay my mistake let's come here Let's go to geometry, subdivision of four. A four is too much for this, but anyway, we can allow it. There we go. Now we have not so uh, pristine edges, something more believable, and we can go and pull in subdivide a subdivision on. And boolean the crap out of it. It will take a second. Now we have this boolean, which is fairly bigger, um, fairly high poly, but this can be reduced later. It will be reduced later anyway. So now you can just keep it like this boolean group and uh, till the very end. Or what I like to do is once I have my boolean, I want to lead this file, this subtool that I've worked with and just insert a clean boolean subtool. And now I have this uh, trigger for my gun. So that's basically it. You can create all kind of um, all kinds of triggers. This one I did a little bit uh, on the fast side of things. Not I wasn't too careful with it, but you can create your own version of it that will look much more amazing than this one. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Please remember to share, like and subscribe. And if you want to stay tuned on everything that I upload on YouTube, on Twitch, uh, hit the notification bell and you will get all the latest info. If you want to follow me, if you want to uh, learn more about my work or, or how you can support me, uh, check all the links in the description down below. And leave a comment if you have any more questions. As you can see, I'm very, very happy to uh, to answer them as long as as long as I can and I have the ability to and the knowledge to. So I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, bye bye.